what's up guys welcome to this video on elvis is the man so uh i'm a big muhammad ali fan and as most of you guys know muhammad ali was a big elvis fan and elvis was a big muhammad ali fan he even had a robe made for him in 73. um they met in uh february 1973 hit it off uh muhammad ali has always said very nice things of elvis and spoke very highly of elvis but uh, like in my downtime, I used to watch a lot of Muhammad, Muhammad Ali, like interviews, uh, boxing matches, all that stuff. And I was like, man, this guy is really charismatic, kind of like Elvis. And, uh, you know, as you go through this stuff, you're like, man, you know, Muhammad Ali really uh, kind of spoke a lot about Elvis. So uh, in the past month or so, I watched quite a few. I got back on the kick of watching Muhammad Ali. And uh, he talked a lot about Elvis in these clips that I'm going to share with you. So... You know, you really, when you search on YouTube for Elvis Muhammad Ali, you don't see a whole lot of Muhammad Ali talking about Elvis. So I make a video here just to consolidate a lot of it. And you see some stuff from the Phil, Phil Donahue show, um, a bunch of different shows that were big in the late 70s and early 80s. And uh, Muhammad Ali just asked random questions and he just brings up Elvis. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to just put this on a video for you guys to see it and for some part of history too. So hope you guys enjoy this and uh, check it out. Tell you, see, actors never come on television much. You take Charlton Heston, Sophie Lorraine, Clint Eastwood, great actors, you never Marlon Brando, you never see him on all these talk shows because people will get to know him, they get to come. Then it's hard to believe he's the character he's playing. Like Elvis Presley, he was so hot because he never did an interview, never do TV show. Whenever you make an appearance, Millions are trying to see him, but he wouldn't come. And I'm so common I'm on TV all the time. People imitate me. I talk all the time. I'm always clowning. And then when you see me, it's just hard to make people forget about me. But things change. Think about this. At one time, a few days ago, girls and people just crying over Elvis Presley. And now it's old. President Kennedy, a few days ago, the world was shocked. And now it's old news. Things change. Time brings about change. The winter, summer, fall, seasons so, change. So therefore, that did happen, but it's old now. Told me they forget you the next day. Isn't that, wasn't that your speech? No, 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 no. Not talking about a living image. Like a, the Beatles will never die. The Beatles. The Beatles could unite tomorrow and fill Madison Square Garden with a one-day notice. If Elvis Presley could get out of his grave, he filled Yankee Stadium with a one-day notice. You understand? Yeah. We'll just tell the public, one day for the show, no publicity, Elvis Preston will be here. Your son, who you said is two, you want him to fight? No. No, I would advise no young fellow to fight. I would advise him to get educated real good, learn his arithmetic, read, write, get a trade, get a purpose. The Temptations are Elvis Presley. But it's a possibility they may never make it. And if he takes this as a trade and don't make it, then life's a tragedy. I never had a song so beautiful. I can't say it. You know what I came from? Yeah. I love that song. That song can go to me. Lord Mitchell. Chuck Berry. Michael Jackson. Yeah. The only white boy I saw who could sing as good as any of them was Elvis. 